community scholar is, you know you come to school with a family. Uh, you didn't come here by yourself. You don't have to worry about, man, I wish I had friends. Like you come to the program knowing you have your cohort of other classmates that are like-minded individuals that are going after the same things you are, um, that have the same passion and drive that you do. It's truly an opportunity where they instill in you the notion of making a, a difference in this world. You know, they don't just push you to get good grades or graduate or, you know, be a successful student. They really do instill in you um, the importance of giving back to others and being able to make a difference in other people's lives. What makes the program so great to me is that it's those opportunities that it opens up. The ability to give back to that community that helped raise you. Um, for me, being able to get that opportunity to come back to Wyatt and work right after I graduated, that's something I always wanted. Um, and I don't know how likely that would have been how likely that would have happened if I would have went somewhere else like A&M or UT or UTA. This is my classroom um, and these four walls like a lot of learning happens. Uh, I teach here at Saginaw ISD, Eagle Mountain Saginaw ISD and just them knowing that I was coming with a master's degree from TCU, they just knew that I was you know, good fit for the campus, um, for this school specifically, and not only for that, but for the whole district. Everything that I've learned at school is being applied here, so I think that's one of the things I like about being here as well. Growing up, I didn't see TCU, um, kids wearing TCU shirts. I saw kids wearing Texas shirts. I saw kids wearing Texas Tech shirts. Now, nowadays in our community, I, you see kids wearing TCU shirts. And it's because of what the Community Scholars Program's done. It, you know, this program's really put TCU on the map for these small neighborhoods, these small communities out there in Fort Worth. It meant the opportunity to be able to be the first person in my extended family to go to college and have a voice for all the students that were told, you're never gonna amount to anything you're underrepresented and this country doesn't care about you. So being able to say, I tried my hardest, I came from a school that is deemed tier one and students there aren't gonna amount to much. To be able to say I graduated and I now have my master's degree, showing that it doesn't matter where you come from, it's what you make of the situation you're in. For me, there was never a doubt that I was going to go to college. I knew since I was little uh, because I come from a single parent home. So I saw my mom struggle with three kids and um, I knew that it was up to me to make a change and make, a, um, make our lives better. Uh, thankfully, I ended up here um, and again, thanks to the Community Scholar Scholarship, I was able to make that happen. For me to be the first one to go to college and graduate, it was huge for my family just because I have I have five younger sisters and you know they're looking up to see what the older sibling is doing and um, I remember when I was at that age, when I was their age, again college wasn't even a mention or anything in my family but now I look at them and they talk to me about going to TCU and to Baylor, uh, I hope not, but uh, just different <laughs> universities all across the nation. I think it's it was huge for my family for me to go and take the first step and, and complete that chapter in my life. Uh, for my family, the Community Scholar Program means generation change. It's really what it means. Um, it, it, it's changing our, our bloodline. Um, before, before I, I mean, I was the first to go to college in my family. Um, the biggest accomplishment in our, in our family which was just to graduate high school, and it's a great accomplishment. And, and it's only, and it's no fault to our parents, but that was just, that was the, bar the minimum. Now the minimum for us and for my children is to graduate college, you know, and, and go to graduate school and do those things. So that's what the Community Scholars Program provided for me and my family and for the generations to come after us, you know, my grandchildren, they're, they're just going to go. And hopefully, you know, my, you know, you know, God willing, my, my children will go to TCU and will continue that legacy there. And, you know, it's fun to go to the football games and see families. Um, of generate, you know, have that gone to TCU, and I, I want that now. And this community scholar program has provided that opportunity, and the opportunity is, is there for us. I mean, I think what differentiates us as community scholars it's that um, 
all the community scholars are what you can call the cream of the crop from Diamond Hill, uh, from the Dallas Fort Worth area. Uh, they choose the best students out of the area. Therefore, we are what I call natural leaders. The only thing that is that we have not been polished. So the community scholar program helps you polish that. To be a community scholar, you have to be involved. It's, it's in the contract, you have to. Um, but the students that become community scholars were involved before they got to TCU. Um, they're involved in, in band. You have musicians, we have choir, we have football players and basketball players and, and artists and you know everything else in between. And those students weren't involved in those clubs and, and activities just cause, like they were involved because they love it. And so when they come to TCU, they bring all those things. And I think that Community Scholars does a great job of choosing students that have varied skill sets and varied talents. Joining my organizations really helped put me out there. I, I was an awkward, socially awkward um, tomboy. I didn't know how to interact with young ladies. I didn't know how to curl my hair. I didn't know how to wear makeup, whatnot. I was still wearing um, big old jerseys, Dallas Cowboys, North Carolina, up until my sophomore year. And I had to realize that as a journalist, I'm gonna have to start looking a little better. And I went through that whole transition because of the organizations I had an opportunity to, to find a voice. And academically to get refined, if it wasn't for Dr. Cornell Thomas, who helped me address the issues that I was frustrated with because of what I saw, differences in society and, and some of the students having more privileges than me, he, he wouldn't, I, I would have never gotten into all the organizations that I'm involved in because it was just like, Ms. Castro, how does that make you feel? Are you angry? What are you gonna do about it? And then that's how little by little I got more involved in different organizations, so. Yeah, I'd just like to give a, a big thank you uh, to Dr. Cornell Thomas. Um, he did a lot for the program and I really appreciate the things that he, he's done. Um, he's not one to, um, you know, brag, brag, or he's not one. To, he's not one to hog the spotlight. But in my eyes, that man's done a lot for this program, and I really appreciate him. Some of the current scholars, you know, you may not know Dr. Cornell Thomas. I advise you to get to know him. He's done a lot for the program, and I just want to say thank you, Dr. Cornell. Um, wow, you you've done a lot for me and my family, and for this program. Uh, Darren, um, thank you, sir. Um, I didn't. I grew up without a father, and to have you and Greg there whenever we needed you, um, it meant the world to me. Just because, you know, <laughs> I needed somebody to to mentor me, to to you know be there for me whenever I need whenever I needed them. And you and Greg, y'all were. I was. I felt like the luckiest guy. I had two dads. <laughs> It was, it was the greatest thing to have you two there, and I wouldn't have graduated if it wasn't for you two, and I'm so thankful for y'all. I love y'all, thank you. What makes Community Scholars so special is Darren and Tamika, and then the pure amount of responsibility they have in making sure that we're accountable for our actions and the way we represent TCU on every single opportunity we receive. Um, and having those two people alone, I think, is what makes this program such much more special. It's already been eight years since, uh, since I became a community scholar, and I mean, the time just flew by fast, but, but just think of all the generations of students who have gotten the opportunity to go to TC because of community scholars. I just think that's 15 <laughs> classes of students. That's crazy. You know, it'll it'll get better. Hopefully, we'll get to see that the, you know that 50 year Our reunion. Our kids are going to be community scholars. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> but it's 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 really cool. And what's really cool actually is that we get to we've already even at TCU and beyond we've gotten to to interact and experience the people that were in the first class. You know, I knew several people that were in the first mm -hmm. class, and they were still involved at TCU while I was there. Yeah. And so it just kind of builds hope that you know all these generations that are going to be built now and in the future that are going to get to go back to TCU and continue to be involved and continue to help the program and see it flourish. I think 15 years is, is just the beginning. There's a lot of folks that work behind the scenes that we never see. Um, 
that allows us to go or allows you to go to that school and allows us to graduate with those degrees. And I really encourage the students out there to continue to work hard um, so that doors are open for the next generation of scholars to come in. And I look forward to, you know, this is the 15 year anniversary. Um, I look forward to the 20, the 25, the 30, the fifth year, the 50th anniversary. It's going to be amazing. And the only way we're going to get there is if that we all work hard, not only as students, but as alumni as well. As some of y'all know, Community Scholars was not always a full ride scholarship. Um, when I got um, inducted into Community Scholars Hall of Fame, um, I guess our, our Community Scholars scholarship covered about 60 to 70 percent of our tuition school books and stuff like that. So we were responsible for making up the difference. Um, and then a couple of years later, uh, the community scholars became a full ride. I was like, oh, dang. <laughs> and so, man, honestly, I was real salty for a long time. But, you know, when I think about it, after I talked to Tamiko about it, you know, it was a full ride because me, my class, the classes um, before and after me, we put in a lot of hard work um, to keep the program. And because of our hard work, a full ride is available to not 15 students, not 30 students, but more than that. Like every year, the number continually grows. And I think I'd be more salty if the, ki the students who are currently in the community scholar didn't take advantage of it. Like a lot of hard work, sweat and tears when it's making the community scholar the program that it is today. And so if you ever have any doubts about, you don't know if you wanna stay here and stick it out, I'm telling you, you gonna stick it out. <laughs> because uh, man, it was a lot of people who came before you, 15 years worth of people that came before you to make sure you had the opportunity you had today. And so just take advantage of it because there's a lot of people at this school and around the world who wish they had the opportunity you did. Um, and so, again, make it happen. Frogs for life.